So Morning Prayer from the Earth Gospel, a wonderful book by Sam Hamilton Poor, highly recommended. And uh, we're going to take a moment of quiet, and then I'll begin with an opening from Psalm 24. The world and everything in it belongs to the Holy One. So too the fertile world and all who live there. Uh, the scripture reading is from Proverbs 30. There are four things that are too mysterious for me to understand. An eagle flying in the sky, a snake moving on a rock, a ship finding its way over the sea, and a man and a woman falling in love. There are four animals in the world that are small, but very, very clever. Ants, they are weak, but they store up their food in the summer. Rock badgers, they are not strong either, but they make their homes among the rocks. Locusts, they have no king, but they move in formation. Lizards, you can hold one in your hand but you can find them in palaces. And another voice from Christina Rossetti. The tiniest living thing that soars on feathered wing or crawls among the long grass out of sight has just as good a right to its appointed portion of delight as any king. And from Thomas Akempis, writing in the 14th century, 15th, I guess. If your heart be right, then every created thing will become for you a mirror of life and a book of holy teaching. For there is nothing created so small and mean that it does not reflect the goodness of God.
to take two minutes of silence to reflect on these readings. And as we move into a time of prayer, we pray for peace in Ukraine and for all the other places around the globe where there's fighting today. Pray for those who work for peace that their hearts might be strengthened and those who promote war that their hearts might be changed and healed. And we pray for all those who need our prayers or who've asked for them. For all things bright and beautiful, for all things dark and mysterious and lovely, for all things green and growing and strong, for all things weak and struggling to push life up through rocky earth, for all human faces, hearts, minds, and hands which surround us, and for all non-human minds and hearts, paws and claws, fins and wings. For this life and the life of this world, for all that you have laid before us, O oh God, we lay our thankful hearts before you, in Christ's name, amen. And a blessing for today with apologies to Cole Porter. Ants do it, bees do it, even earthworms in the ground do it. May you also do it. Be the you in joyful fullness in whom God delights. Amen. <laughs>